Çek 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 çek. Okay. Hopefully this is streaming out. Seems like it should be. Studio mode. All right. So, what is the phase graph? Uh, why should we care about it? What do all of these squiggly lines mean? And how does that affect our work? And how does that affect the audience? How does that affect the musicians? How does phase affect the show? That's what we're going to be talking about at this next workshop that I have coming up in less than a week. It's called Intro to the Phase Graph, and it is going to be three lessons that are each 90 minutes long. So this is the third time that I've done this workshop, and each time I'm trying to make it, you know, a little bit um, expanded, expanded a little bit more. So last time it was two classes, this time it is three classes, and I'm expanding the material out a little bit more to just make everything a little bit more clear. I've got some fun demos planned um, and some new ideas to share with you that I've learned over the past year from the last time I did this workshop. So the first questions that I've discovered that people often have are not, you know, what are you going to teach and what am I going to learn? The first questions people have are generally practical questions like, what time does it start? When is it? How long are the classes? So when you go to this page, enter to the phase graph, you will see uh, at the very bottom, just scroll to the bottom and you'll see this is where you sign up. So you can either pick Saturdays or Tuesdays. And I'm going to tell you right off the bat that um, these have all changed a little bit since I initially scheduled it. Uh, I, I initially scheduled this workshop, I guess, uh, about a month and a half ago. And when I did that, I had nothing on my calendar. So I thought, great, I'll do three Saturdays in a row and I'll do three Tuesdays in a row. And that should work for most people. Since then, of course, some conflicts have come up. Number one, uh, my wife and I will be traveling to Patagonia, which we're really excited about. But it didn't really seem like that trip was going to happen and we didn't know exactly when. So I didn't know at the time. Anyway, so I've had to change a couple of those. And then I got a gig and you guys know that that can come up at the last moment as well. But I hope that you will understand and that the dates will still work for you. Um, my guess is that you would prefer to have a teacher who is still working in the industry and doing gigs and therefore will occasionally have conflicts with those gigs than someone who is maybe not working on shows anymore. So let me just show you what that looks like. So we look over here and this says, yes, initially I said these will all be on Saturday, but it says March 4th, 12th, and 16th. And when you look at your calendar, you're going to say, okay, that's March 4th. Well, that's a Friday. March 12th, that's a Saturday. And 16th, that's a Wednesday. Well, that's because right over here uh, on this day is when I'm going to be gone. So I couldn't do another Saturday, unfortunately. And then this day I had an important gig come up. So I said, okay, let me move it here. Not, not so many people have signed up yet that it's going to be a huge problem. So that's what's going on with Saturdays. It's actually these three days here, Saturdays. <laughs> and then the one on Tuesdays is potentially even stranger because it's going to go Tuesday, Tuesday, and then it's last class on Wednesday. So I'm going to have both groups both finish on the same day. So we'll just combine everyone on Wednesday. Now, I know this isn't ideal. It would be much nicer and easier to understand if it was all Saturdays and all Tuesdays. But, you know, these are the realities of humans and scheduling and, you know, things happening last minute on events. But I think the important thing is that it's still broken up into three classes and everything's going to be recorded so uh, please if you cannot attend these all live and i really hope that you can but if you cannot attend these all live then please sign up for the all access pass so what does that look like over here you're going to choose a date and then it's going to offer you the all access pass and it costs a little bit more but this is my way of just sort of making it easier for people to access who maybe um, want a slightly lower price, 
but then you just have to come live. And I would prefer for you to be there live anyway, so it's a win-win for me if um, you're there live. So sort of motivation to be there live. But if you can't, uh, and even if you can be there live but you want the recordings, then go ahead and click that and then come down here and you'll fill out the rest of this. Another thing is I was kind of surprised that people, so many people were asking me like, when are the classes? These are people who had already signed up. They're asking me, when are the classes and uh, how do I sign, um, how long is each class? The reason that I'm surprised about this is because after you sign up, there's going to be a button that says, add this to your calendar. So please do that. Add this to your calendar. And after you sign up, if you miss that button, you also get an email confirmation that says, add this to your calendar. When you click that, all of that information will be exposed for you. So you'll have all of the dates and you'll see all the times. Each of them are 90 minutes long. So I'm telling you now, but if you forget, please make sure and add that class to your calendar after you sign up and register um, so that you'll know exactly when it is and how long it lasts. But if you have any other questions about how any of this works, um, please just comment on this video and um, I'll be happy to answer those. I'm sure there's some piece of information that I've left off on this page. I know that it's quite short. Anyway, I'm excited about teaching this class again. Uh, it's one of my favorites. I really love playing around with phase and filters and uh, figuring out how to put things together. I think it's a really fun puzzle. And I hope that some of my excitement about that will infect you a little bit. All right, well, thanks for checking out this video and thanks for your interest in my work and the workshop. And I hope to see you there. All right, thanks.